welcome back to my channel my name is Bailey if you're new here and today I thought I would film a morning routine with my puppy Bernice Mountain you probably hear her because she wants out and then my burner doodle moose and then you'll also see um, two other dogs throughout this morning routine video and they are my family's dogs one's a German Shepherd he's black his name is Roscoe and then the tan with a little bit of white his name is Ruger and he's a Germanese German Shepherd Pyrenees mix so you'll see them as well but I thought I would take you along my morning with my two dogs so normally in the morning I get up and read my devotional and then sometimes I'll just like scroll my phone a little bit check Instagram and moose snuggle with my moosey say hi moose say good morning yeah we get cuddles in the morning um but yeah so that's kind of like the first thing I do and then next I'm gonna let Mercedes out of her crate because she probably needs to use the restroom so let's go do that good morning can you sit good girl yes Oof, big stretches. There's Ruger and Roscoe. Hello, boys. And... And she goes and checks their food bowls. Oh, Mercedes. Good girl. So she's the only one that I let out like immediately. Moose doesn't really go outside like right in the morning. I don't know why, he just doesn't. So while she's outside doing her thing, I'm gonna get their breakfast ready. And I pretty much, I know. <laughs> That's really good talking. Um, but I get her food ready because she loves to eat and I will show you guys in a little bit what I mean, but um, I'm gonna go get their food ready. Um, so I actually have my own bathroom in my room, which is really nice, but I'm gonna fill her water up in here and then I also keep like their food in this, or her food, um, just in this cabinet, just because she's on puppy food and doesn't eat the same food as the other dogs. So I'm gonna fill up her bowls before letting her back in. <laughs> in a crate and sorry for the bad lighting um and she gets one and a half cups in the morning um, i don't think i mentioned that so let me there we go that may be a little better so there's moose and i'm gonna go Rigger, what are you doing? Say hello, good morning. I'm gonna let her back in. And there she is waiting. And good girl. She actually, when we first got her, was like started to scratch at the door. So I'm glad my training has paid off a little bit. She's sitting so calmly. So I'm actually... <laughs> She's like, how do I get let in? Let her in. Roscoe. Okay. So. Hello. So I'm gonna show you. I mean. 
if you can't tell by the barking that she loves to eat. No, ma'am. Um, I'm gonna set my camera up so you can see her like run to my room because she wants the food. No, ma'am. So, as you see, she loves to eat, and then I just go in here, and <laughs> slow down. I just close the crate while she eats. Enjoy your breakfast. So, she's happy eating. So now that she's taken care of, now I feed my moose. So his food, there we go, is in the bathroom and you can see at night I give him, I gave him pumpkin last night so that's what that is. So I have to wash his bowls before I give him his breakfast and then just fill up his water. into the dog room because that's where like the big dog's food is kept so got his food so let's go feed my moose moose go eat you can go 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 <laughs> so now that they're all fed i don't know if you can hear me was crunching on his kibble um but this is the part of the morning where i can now start getting ready and taking care of this i know my hair looks crazy but um so yeah so i need to shower wash my face change clothes all the normal getting ready stuff <laughs> So now that I'm all ready, I honestly just let my hair air dry, so it's going to be looking like this until it dries, um, but now I let all the dogs out. As you can hear, she's ready. Hello. Sit. Yes. I know. So, you see, you ready got outside? Okay. Okay. 
<laughs> no, you still have fun. Big strip. What are you doing? So while they're outside, I make myself breakfast. So let's see. I think I'm gonna make a smoothie this morning. So I decided to make a smoothie and I'm gonna put frozen strawberries, almond milk, and then I have my like smoothie bin. <laughs> so I have like flax, I have flax seeds. Chia seeds. It's not focusing, but chia seeds. Um, sometimes I add coconut flakes. Um, that's granola and some cacao powder. My breakfast I am going to let the dogs back inside let's see what they're doing there's moose oh. one two three four hello hello So as you saw, I brought them back inside and they're just going to play. <laughs> it's like a daycare in there. There's four of them. So they're going to play with each other while I drink my smoothie. And normally I just like watch YouTube <laughs> on my phone um, and also like check what I have to do for today. So I know for today that I have some stuff in the afternoon, but for this morning, um, the only thing I really have is um, at around 12 o'clock, I have a client that needs their dog walk. So if you don't know, I also dog sit uh, since obviously my <laughs> breeding program doesn't bring any money in. I don't have anything to sell. So I think right now I will just watch YouTube, let them play, and then we will continue on with our morning. So now that they're chilling and Moose knows how to completely jump this gate, he's hanging out over there. So while they're calm <laughs> and like done playing, um, I went ahead and finished my breakfast, cleaned that up. Now I'm going to pick up my room a little bit. Um, I don't do a deep clean. I just pick it up from like the night before. That way it's not like too much when I do go to deep clean it. So I'm gonna start with making my bed. I don't make it like right when I wake up just because I've heard and read like you're supposed to allow your bed to breathe um, and not make it right when you get up. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that and then I have some like 
stuff to pick up on this side um, and clear off my desk. So I'm going to show you guys that. So after picking up my room, which honestly took like five minutes, I like to come out in the living room and read something for my business. I think it's important to take this time and read a book, anything like breeding related or business related. It's just something that's important to me. And so I try to do this every morning to read at least one chapter. So right now I'm reading Dave Ramsey's Entre Leadership. I really enjoyed this book so far. I'm about a little more than halfway through it. So I've been really enjoying that. And then the dogs are like half sleeping, half playing at this point. Moose like likes to be near me. <laughs> um, so he's actually sitting in front of me. I'll show you in a little bit, but that is what everyone is doing. So this is Moose sitting in front of me. He usually lays down, so I don't know why he's... Where are you going? The other dogs are napping, taking their morning naps. I just finished reading and now I'm gonna let Mercedes out again because she's a puppy and needs to go outside like at least once an hour right now. Let's see. Good girl, did you go potty? She's pretty good at going right. Yeah, I know. You're a good girl, aren't you? Ooh, you're fine. I know. Gonna come back inside. Come on, Mercedes. Mercedes, come on. No, ma'am. Come on. Mercedes. That's what it's like trying to get four or three dogs going outside. You only want one to go outside, but then the other two want to go, and then one comes in, and then one goes. And now they're playing. But now since she went outside, and she's pretty good at going right when I let her outside. Um, I don't know, she's just always done that since she's a puppy. So since she went and went immediately, came back inside. And after I finish reading, I like to start on work, whether that's for positive purpose or I'm also in college, I could do some homework. So I am back at my desk looking at what I need to do for school, um, what I can work on, and I do have a couple emails to respond to about a meeting I have later today, and then just with financial services and my like finance program with them, and obviously. I have a companion who has joined me. I am never, yes, I'm talking about you. I am never alone. So I am going to answer some emails and then see what else I can work on for a little bit. work that I need to get done this morning. I didn't do any homework. I'm going to do that 
later this afternoon. Um, I just needed to respond to some emails and then I also um, had to respond to a client who was requesting me to dog sit for them, um, I believe this weekend or next. So I was just responding to them and asking more questions about what they're needing for dog sitting and what that looks like. So I have about an hour, a little bit less than an hour before um, I have to do the dog walking that I mentioned earlier because that's around 12. So what I like to do in the morning since we're getting closer to the afternoon since Mercedes has been out and in and playing and napping um, about this time of the day I like to do a training session and her training sessions aren't long they're like 10 to 15 minutes and she's a puppy that's really all she can handle and I don't want to overwhelm her or burn her out with doing super long training sessions so I want to say <laughs> I'm going to show you but I'm not a professional um, so I'm still working on my marker timing and just like how to handle her um, as we're going through different exercises and different commands so i'm going to show you a little bit of that and what we're working on we're working on her loose leash manners or honestly just her leash manners in general and working on a loose heel i don't expect her to heal at all but we're just working on it kind of shaping it and luring is what that kind of looks like right now and then I also just really work on her sit and lay down just because um, I like to start off with those just for her to get an easy reward that way you know she's like confident in herself and um, you know these are supposed to be fun and successful and always you know end on a good note so I started on a good note with just sit and lay down since she knows those pretty well um, and we've been working on those commands with her since she came home here to Texas so we're also working on that and then we're working on oh yes her leave it skills so since she is very food motivated um, she has I guess really her impulse control so that's what we're working on and it'll make more sense I guess when you see it a little bit and then the last thing we're working on is her like being calm enough to be petted so what that looks like is I say pets and she she should she should sit sorry and you know and then I'll pet her and then give her a reward this is to help later along um, for her to be a therapy dog so she is highly energetic highly food motivated so I don't expect her to be a calm like she's puppy so she's a four month old puppy so um so I don't expect her to be calm for long so she just sits and sits still and I'll stroke her a couple times and then she gets rewarded so I'm gonna do that Moose will probably do what he's doing now which is like that he's my big couch potato and it's actually kind of funny like this is moose and then you'll see if you haven't seen already like her like <laughs> very playful energetic personality and they're kind of polar opposite it's been a huge learning curve as far as like training for her versus him and it's actually fun to learn like different personalities and how <laughs> so this is actually how moose sleeps on his back spread legs so that's just funny that he did that right now but yeah like i was saying they're just different personalities and it's been fun to have to learn different training techniques because what worked on him doesn't always work for her so that's been fun. I'm going to take her out in the front yard, which also kind of practices her off-leash skills. Many times I will just let her out if it's closer, um, if we're closer to the front door than like taking her through the gate in the dog room to the backyard. I will just open the door, she runs out, goes potty, 
she comes straight inside. So I'm trying to keep that up. That way I can uh, continue her off-leash skills and work on those and shape them. So that's what we're going to do. Let's go get Miss Mercedes. Moose has always slept like this. I just still think it's so funny. Let me know if your dogs sleep like this too. So this is where I keep all of the dog stuff, anything related to positive purpose or dogs in general. So um, I keep the training pouch in this drawer and I'm going to fill it up with kibble. I really don't feed her treats just because she still works for a kibble and is very happy doing so as you'll see. So I don't feel the need to fill her up with treats when I can just fill her up with her kibble and she enjoys it. Hello! Do you want to do some training? Guess it. Uh -uh, sit. Yes. Oh, the clip's on here. <laughs> Good girl. Let's go outside. Now you're up. Come on. Sit. Yes. Good girl. Good patty. Good girl. Ready to do some training? Okay. Okay. So that was our little training session and kind of what those look like. You ready to go inside? Are you ready to go inside? <laughs> She's such a sweet girl. And you're cute, huh? You're a good girl. Nope, all done. All done. Let's go back in. So now she goes into her crate after training. Yep. Come here. Come here. Good girl. Okay. Go in your crate. Boop. Good girl. So it is now her crate time. So yeah, Mercedes gets put in her crate for the afternoon for a couple of hours, especially since she's been out and playing and then we just finished our training session. She gets some crate time since she's still a puppy and she has water in there. And then I'm also about to leave for the dog sitting. So it is coming on to the afternoon. Um, I think that is the end of this morning routine vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little bit into our morning, um, what it's like taking care of two dogs, kind of four, but my family really feeds them and I just let them out throughout the day, so that's how that works. Yeah, a lot of it is just feeding them, letting them outside, letting them back in, and then every hour letting them back out, and then I'm do something and then letting them back out. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure you are subscribed so you are notified when we post. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we will see you in our next one. Bye friends.